Look at that wig with burgundy highlights in it. That's gutter bitch. That is straight gutter bitch. Pipe grease, roadkill. Chicken head, ball head, skelly way. Ain't got no hair. Y'all feel like because you have a penis, you can comment on all women, but if you, how about this? If you in the comment. Yeah, goddamn it. Y'all comment on all men. I'm gonna comment on y'all ass, especially. I, I'm gonna comment on you, especially that ugly ass wig you got on. I bet you take it off, you look like Hellraiser. Take off that. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some more BS from the BS train wreck show. I'm always getting I'm always getting people to pass this on to me and as long as I see a train wreck, I'ma report the news. Kendra G and this thirst show, she's going to get triggered here. I see some of it, but not all of it. So I'm going to report to you how simple this bitch is. She's going, somebody's going to say something about that. Some, some, uh, that, uh, that Jennifer Lopez is old and it's triggered her to where she, it, it triggered her to where you might as well call her old. So let's just watch this. Let's just watch this BS. I definitely think I should be able to work on, you know, yeah. And there you have it. So this is Steven. Um, the woman you had a one night stand with, there's no possible relationship there? No. 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 No, no, no. No, no, no. no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I feel you, player. You know what I'm saying? You find the fuck man plea, you know. But before we go. Get stuck on and get the fuck on. Give him a tipsy roll and tell him thanks for the pussy hole. Figure something out for Let me fast forward. I don't care about this interview. Not the Bronx. Not the Bronx. That's. Yeah, Jennifer that's the. Lopez was from the Bronx. Yeah, that was like, what, 45 years ago? Woo! <laughs> Bronx has changed. Bronx. You saw that triggered look on her face. She was just like, like 45. Yeah, Jennifer Lopez is an old bitch. Yeah. I Got a dog on it. Yeah, he just called it. Yeah, get him, youngster. Get him, youngster. Yeah, call her old bitch. Now look at now. Let's watch this play out. Old bitches taking up for old bitches. She's born at 45, but she's fine as hell, and she's one of the baddest women on this planet. But I shut up, bitch. Okay. Bitches, you gay. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez shut down girls at 25, so, but okay, this is Yeah, she shut down Precious. She shut down Big Worm, that girl that looked like Big Worm. Y'all go in my videos and see about the Big Worm video. Y'all go look at that one. She shutting that down, but she ain't shutting down 25-year-old J-Lo. Uh-uh. You know, this is not 1994 no more. We old. We older now. This dude was probably born in 1994. And he old. Take enough for it. Keep it going. This is your opinion. Um, <laughs> do the women have kids already? Um, yeah. So one uh is like ideally if she does. Um, two is like a cap. So if you got more than two, unfortunately, I'm sorry, but I don't You more reasonable than me. You more reasonable than me, homie. Dude, if she got one, you, if baby mamas or pipe grease, pipe grease. You hear that fellas? We have to start a petition. My I, I, I'm the number one person on the list. Signature number one, PA Texas, baby mamas or pipe grease. You tell her to open up 
and you grease your pants. Just look at my pinky knuckles! <laughs> it's gonna work. You know, New Yorkers are saying, what is wrong with the Bronx? They're telling me to ask you that. Man, the boogie down a little bit different. I like hanging out in the boogie down. There's some bad bitches up in the boogie down, though. I'd have been up there right by Yankee Stadium. Yeah, there's some nice ladies up there, man. But they're a little ratchet up there. But the, the South Bronx right there, right there by the river, ooh, that's where Cardi B and them from. You don't want no parts of the women down there. They, they ratchet. Even over there in Spanish Harlem, they just ratchet. I mean, they'll, they'll fuck your daddy. I mean, they'll fuck your son and your daddy. They'll have a, they'll let your son and your daddy run a train on them. They, I done seen, man, them ladies down there, they don't give a fuck. Man, that's real talk. They're not from New York then, they don't know. If they don't know, they're not from New York. I'm not from New York and I know. The boogie, the Bronx, the Bronx bitches ain't shit. I'm telling you, Spanish Harlem, Bronx, you know, Harlem, you, you straight, you know. Brooklyn, you straight. Queens, you straight, but that that Bronx right down there, right there, that South Bronx where Cardi B from, man, them ho them hoes ain't sh ain't them hoes ain't about nothing. Them hoes ain't worth two dead flies smashed. They will sell pussy and everything, dude. They could be lawyers. They could be making a hundred thousand dollars a month. And they sell it pussy on the side because that's just in them. That's just in them, player. That's just in them. It's just in them not to be shit. I'm sorry. I ain't trying to poo-poo on my New Yorkers, but, man, I, I mean, I got a lot of people. And, it, and and the bad part about it, they be fine as hell. They be looking good. But they got the mentality of a, they got the mentality of the ugliest woman in the world that people spit on. Man, I'm just saying. So, yeah, that's what they talking about. I know about the boogie down. But, boy, they look good as hell up there, boy. Get, go up there and get it in, but don't take them serious. Because they going to be on some bullshit. Because nobody in New York. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Right. Okay. Someone said J-Lo is past her prime. Baby, J-Lo's prime. J-Lo way past her prime. J Lo, J Lo pussy don't even work no more. She the menopause and men have stopped. Oh, she got a, she got to she gotta stick, a, she got to take a can of WD-40 and spray her coochie up before she has sex. Get <laughs> 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 your ass out of here with that bullshit. I don't want to hear this. J-Lo ain't pass her prime. See, she triggered. Remember why this? Women on this planet. She look good as hell still at her age. If hey, bitch, shut the fuck up. Oh, it's past her prime. Baby, J-Lo's prime is better than your best day. And I know a guy said it. What am I? What? Yeah. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, Dream Man, you just shouldn't even speak on. Okay? Like, sometimes, I know y'all be in the comments. How in the fuck? She used to fuck with Puffy. Puffy half gay. Her, her dude was half. Man, get out of here, man. Puffy don't sit up and do nothing but dance and be, man, 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 get up out of here, man. Like her best day. Man, nah, bro. Just because she got a little bread, man, she's still on some bull. You know what I mean? Better than my best day, man. Look, that's what you think. That's what you think. Ask J-Lo. Cause I know homeless people have good days. They say so happier than, than than a lot of other people. Sit up here on best day. That is very presumptuous with your dumb ass. Remember, we 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 talking to a chicken head, bro. We talking about a chicken head. Straight up chicken head. Look at that wig with burgundy highlights in it. That's gutter bitch.
That is straight gutter, bitch. Pipe grease, roadkill. Chicken, chicken head, bald head, standing way. Ain't got no hairy back. That's why she ain't got no babies. All them, all them famous people ought to be like, oh, Kendra G, let me bend her ugly ass over. And she down for it. Dumb ass. And now she finna sit here and be philosophical. Shut up, bitch. Man, and y'all feel like because you have a penis, you can comment on all women. But if you, how about this? If you in the comment. Yeah, goddamn it. Y'all comment on all men. I'm a comment on y'all ass. Especially. I, I'm going to comment on you, especially that ugly-ass wig you got on. I bet you take it off, you look like Hellraiser. Take off that. Take off that wig and makeup. You look like Hellraiser. Hellraiser. Welcome to Oblivion. <laughs> Hellraiser. I bet you take that makeup and hair off, you look like Hellraiser. Ugly bitch. I'm a section right now watching my show. You don't got enough money in your pocket to comment mm. on a woman like Jennifer Lopez. How you know what these dudes got, man? How you and then now she finna poo poo on people who making her money. That's what that's see, this is how dumb this bitch is. They gonna sit she gonna sit there and poo poo on the people who making her show. This bitch finna go broke. You gonna get kicked up out of LA. Watch. They finna boot her ass up out of LA. Watch. Cause they gonna be talking about her ass like a dog. She gonna be like, I ain't know it was like this out here. Bald head bitch. Chicken, chicken head, bald head, standing way. Ain't got no hair in back. Yes. Sit your ass in the comment section and watch the women on my show and me. Shut up, bitch. Okay, because you don't got no pedigree to say anything negative. What kind of motherfucking pedigree do you got, you dumb bitch? You a moron. Whoever shoots sperm and get this moron pregnant and your baby come out, hi, mommy, hi, daddy. That's you. Yo, fault. About Jennifer Lopez. She's one of the most successful women on this planet. She look good as hell still at her age. If you think. No, she, she look good. She look good enough to grease your pipe after you didn't had about a, a six pack or two. <laughs> yeah, she look. You got a juice. You got it. Ain't nobody coming at J Lo, bro. Ain't nobody coming at J Lo no more. That's a fifty. Ain't nobody coming at now. Fifty year old bitch. Not even fifty year old niggas. Fifty year old dudes want a fifty year old dudes. They want a they want a thirty forty year old woman. Sixty year old dudes. They want a, they want a thirty forty year old woman. Ain't nobody coming at no 50-year-old bitch, man. Please. Ain't nobody coming at no 40-year-old bitch. Let's keep it a buck. 35 is it. The finish line. You done. Stick a fork in your bitch. You done for running your tongue. And you think all me. Anyway. You in a position. To judge a Jennifer Lopez, then you need to go see a psychiatrist and get your shit together. Now, I know men have been taught this. I have a penis. I rule the world. You don't. <laughs> and there is. Bitch, yes, we do. You dumb hoe. We run the world. We run the world. Well, I don't. I run I run a little something here and there. I run PA Texas worldwide. But yeah, Vlad, look who run the world. Vladimir Putin, penis. Joe Biden, penis. Jeff Bezos, penis. Mark Zuckerberg, penis. Don't worry. King Charles, penis. Well, he really don't run that. All 
all of the monarch, all the people who run every country in Africa. Penis. There ain't no female president of shit. Because y'all can't run shit. Because you don't do nothing but fuck up. Bitch. Some women, you need to just let go. So any man that said Jennifer Lopez is a past her prime, she better than your best girl. Period. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez, child. Yeah. Is she successful? Yeah. And I'm proud of that. But she, come on, man. It ain't like she out here curing cancer. All she doing is dancing and trying to take pictures. Fuck out of here. But you know what I'm saying? That's the, that, that's the kind of woman that would impress this stupid bitch. Child, give it up already. Sometimes, sometimes, man, y'all just need to really let it go, okay? Really just let it go, okay? I'm, I'm going to write this. I don't want to take away from you. I ain't letting go of nothing but nut in your mouth. <laughs> 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 no. See, no, no, no. Good. Uh, well, I'm a, I mean, we brought up General Lopez because you brought up the Bronx, but I, it just gets irritating to me that men just that wig should be irritating. <laughs> <laughs> feel because they were born with a penis they are superior to yeah we are get in a fight with one of them and you'll see how superior they are get socked in your they gonna knock all them them fake teeth them fake screw on teeth and that wig straight off your hair you get a 110 pound dude it'll knock you in the next week you'll be like uh, uh, yeah men are superior bro we run everything Tesla, Ford, GM. That wig company probably come from a man. Get out of here. Y'all don't run jack shit. Can't take over jack shit. You can't do nothing. We the big dogs in here. <laughs> big dogs. I'm standing up for the men. Yeah, we the big dogs. You need us. That man built that place. That 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 place you sitting in. Built that chair. Built that. Built all that. You be lucky if a woman put that ugly ass wig together. Yeah, bitch. Every woman on this planet, and it's just not a fact. And, and all people are not created equal. Like I was having this conversation. Yeah, and you create. You ass is created a moron. <laughs> You will create it less than on the intelligence scale. They always say, oh, men don't care about your money. That's bullshit. Jay-Z wouldn't have married Beyonce if she wasn't Beyonce. <laughs> like, let's, let's just, let's, Jay-Z married. Man, and Jay-Z still got a gang of bitches. Jay-Z still keep a gang of bitches. He should have whooped Solange ass in that elevator for trying to slap him. He should have knocked that bitch out. Don't put your hands on him, man. That is not your place, ladies. That is not your place. The baddest woman on the planet. He's a billionaire. So... That bitch ain't the baddest woman on the planet. Beyonce is not the baddest woman on the planet. Hell no. She what? She never was. She never will be. Bull. She and she ain't now. That's bullshit. Beyonce ain't the baddest. Now Jay Z, ugly ass Joe Camel. He look like Joe Camel on a pack of the cigarettes. Yeah, you know he got hit. That's about. That's you know. Because, look, man, look, man, there's some real bad bitches out here. I'm talking about top-notch, good-looking ladies. Man, you could drive down the street in any one of these countries. You can go to Somalia. They walking around there like, they walking around there like uh, roaches. It's 
Go to go to East Africa. Them, them ladies are bad. I mean bad meaning. Woo. I'm talking about drop dead gorgeous. Beyonce ain't drop dead gorgeous. She wasn't even the best looking member in her band. I'm talking about the baddest one on the planet. Kelly Rowland looked better than Beyonce. I'm just keeping it a buck. Just keeping it a buck, buck, buck. I mean, it's some real pretty women out here. I mean, even Megan Good in her heyday, she was bad. You know, funky ass Stacey Dash. She was a bad one. I mean, you know, it's some bad ladies out here talking about the baddest. Nah, bro. So, she bad to you, but you just a, a weak, wig wearing chicken head bitch. Let's continue. There are some men who don't care about money. There are some men who, who definitely care about you having your shit together in order to him to align his life with you. So I think the the bottom line is this. There's not one size fit all for anything because LeBron James, who's also pretty much a billionaire, chose a woman who... Chose a woman that had no money. Just a wife. And that yeah. worked for him. The bottom Somebody, somebody he's been knowing since he was a kid. Day one, down one. She ain't got nothing. And that's how most dudes do it. Jay-Z was on so much. You can't, see, you take, see, I hate when women take these one-off scenarios and think that's the rule for everything. For the most part, men don't care about women's money. Taking these exceptions. But see, Kendra's a dumb bitch. And she, she never had to sit down and do anything, anything important in school except write papers. So what are we expecting logic to come out of this bird brain ass bitch? Anyway, she and she on this rant. Mine is you have to figure out what works for you and start speaking for the Shut up, bitch. Whole entire world because what may work for you works for you, but it does it's not the rule for the next person. And yeah. that's what we're living in right now. Everybody's trying to make the Shut up, bitch. Is this bitch done? Are you done, bitch? Are you finished? Are you done? Are you finished? Or are you both? Man, I done had enough of this bitch for the day. Maybe tomorrow. Stop sending this stupid bitch to me. Any people who deal with me, don't send this bitch shit to me so I can sit there and cuss this hoe out. Man. And any dude that go on this stupid ass bitch's show is a thirst bucket. That's why she ain't got, she ain't, that's why she ain't got no men on her show. Ain't no real nigga call into this. Listen to this stupid bitch. Get this hoe up, man. Get this hoe up out of here. 